Morning fans, Scott from SE Landscaping. Refreshed after four days away by the coast and a bit of decent weather. But uh, a couple of things to talk about today. One, the last video that I put up at the weekend with the, um, the grillo. You may notice the footage was cut a bit short. Reason being, um, the, the grillo ate the GoPro, which I'll show you here. So this this is our eight, and this is what's left of it, as you can see, very little. So, and we have replaced it with this GoPro Nine. Now this comes with a longer battery life. The only thing is they've been very sneaky that the eight batteries don't work. So you've got to buy nine batteries because they're bigger. Um, it's also got the front screen um, on so you can actually see when you're recording you can actually see what's in the record rather than have to look from the back so that's quite good um, early days but like I say it's, uh, it's a decent bit of kit that I was forced to buy now the problem was the um, it was attached to the front of the machine as I was going down the paths and as you saw some of the stuff was a metre two, two metres high and a stray bramble grabbed the uh, the GoPro from the front of the machine before I knew it. It had sort of dropped it down the side and the machine had sucked it under. So very little left of it. So we now want a GoPro 9, which um, just early days, but I'm getting used to. It uh, seems like a good bit of kit. So that's all the filament um, will be carried out with this GoPro 9 now. It's got the screen on the front, so as I'm looking at it now, I can actually see what I'm looking at rather than having to go around the back and see if I'm actually in shot. Um, it's got larger battery life, but the batteries are larger, so all the batteries that I had for my 8 no longer work, um, unfortunately, so you have to buy larger batteries. But it's, um, it's a nice bit of kit. So there's good and bad reviews on the internet, but I shall see over the next few few weeks and then I'll give a review of my own of, of, of how I find it. So, but um, the other thing is, like I say, I've had four days away and left jobs while I was away. And a lot of the time with, with work, it does feel like you're babysitting a bit, not not an employer, more of a babysitter. So we've got, a, um, on one of our contracts, we've got a park that's, uh, that's been done up and basically there's a, there's a grand reopening. So I left some jobs um, to be done and I left them in sort of numeric order. So basically you follow number one goes to number two, three, four and five, not one then on to five, six and then back to two. But unfortunately people can't follow simple instructions and this is what I mean by employers and, and babysitting staff. You, you've got a list of jobs you work through and everybody's happy but unfortunately I come back today and straight away headaches because I've got to go now and do jobs or I've got to send someone to do jobs that were supposed to be completed yesterday and they've actually moved on to the next jobs and left the jobs that were a priority for a grand reopener and it's just what do you actually have to do to get people to listen to you in this day and age because it's, it, it, it is, for a better word, you're just babysitting constantly. And that's the reason why, as you've seen on previous videos, um, I'm, I'm cutting back. And these videos are just to help people, because a lot of the guys on the sites, the legend sites, pro gardener sites, you're looking at expanding the other way. And I hope by watching my videos that, yes, not, not all staff are, are, are like this. You, you do get good ones from time to time, but it's very rare. But these videos are just to show the headaches you have from day to day and the things that if i just told you these things half of these things you probably don't believe but the uh, everything i tell you is true and it, it does happen on a daily basis um and it, and it just costs you time constantly so you've got to go back and you've got to let clients down and i mean worst case if i took another day off and i'd, I'd gone to five days which i came back today knowing that something would go wrong it's part of the business. Um, if I took another day off then we'd have been in hot water because I know fine well that without me visiting here today and checking over there will be things missed as well 
So I'm going there first thing this morning, try to rectify the problems and get this uh, and get these last few bits sorted ready for ready for the opening day and for the the uh, council members to walk around. But it's um, it's a bit of a rant and that's that's pretty much it. Just a short video explaining about the GoPro and about like I say. I had, had, had a lovely break with family and friends, but while you're on holiday, you, you sort of never switch off, and it's, it's difficult to say, but you're constantly thinking about work, and I, I know you shouldn't, but unfortunately that's the way it is, because you know that things aren't going to go to plan, not because of the gear or anything, but just because people just won't, won't do what you want, won't think like you do. Um, and they just when you when you suggest it they just think it's trivial so I've even gone past now just I've, I've gone past having the conversations afterwards because it's it's just a pointless exercise really just you can, you can have that conversation as many times as you want and you feel as if you have it every week in the end um, so I, I just gave up with it to be honest and we just get to the end of the season and then we sort out our our plan which will be next year lots less stress a little bit less work but a lot less stress and um, happy me hopefully and none of these rant videos hopefully next year will be just equipment videos um, because I really can't do with uh, I really can't do with everything I, I should be coming back to work refreshed and I should be coming back to work bouncing to get into it and you're coming back to work to problems and a lot of you guys work on your own and I know that has its downsides at the end of the day if you work on your own and you're ill or something goes wrong with you or you need a break then there's no one to make your money I understand that um, but the fact is when you're working with people they're causing you more stress and hassle than if you did prioritize and, and work around and, and have a busy week before you go away and think right I'm gonna have a busy week doing all these jobs and then I'm gonna go away and have a week's holiday knowing that there's no vans out, no equipment out, no one to worry about and then you come back and have a busy week when you come back to catch up. That's the that's the thinking for next year so that when I when I'm on holiday it's um apart from a subcontract drive in place now who's gonna be doing some bits. So things like priority things while I'm away which should the only priority things while I'm away should be funerals to carry out and litter picking to carry out and those two items, um, everything else can sort of take a back seat for a week. So those two items should be um, should be manageable for my subcontractor. Um, I've been been using a new subcontractor for the last two weeks, and I was using him. He did a couple of jobs while I was away. He updated me. There was no issues. He's sort of pretty much on the time I'm on. Um, and he just came and got on with it. And that's that's the difference, using, using subcontractors, obviously, yes. Be not just getting paid like an employee gets paid whatever, and you can't deduct employees pay like you could years ago, and you can't dock them for break and things like you do years ago. But the good thing with subbies is things have to be done um, in order for you to pay them. So the route is subcontractors, and some people will say, but can they not pinch your work? Um, and the answer is yes, but you've got to have trusted subcontractors who you know. Um, you keep them away from the clients, and you also put something in their contracts that they can't um, they can't take work. And if you do that right, um, then they can't take work off you. So that's the uh, that's the way forward for me. Um, I am on the lookout for another another good subcontractor. I think I might have one. Um, I think I might have one anyway. Um, a young guy who's just setting off. He's keen. I've seen some of his work. He's done a couple of hedges for me recently. Turns out good work. So he could be the uh, he could be the way forward for another subcontractor. And basically, like I say, when I'm away, things are covered. And yes, there's a, a little bit less coming in but these lads are grateful for the work because it's helping them build build their businesses as well and all around hopefully everybody will be happy 
So, any questions on anything we've discussed, guys? Just drop them in the in the comments below, and I'll be happy to uh, I'll be happy to answer them. But um, just a short one today while we while we're traveling, and we will see you on the next one.